got home, I cleaned up, I took a shower, now I'm back here. I got a package, and I got this package from Billabong. What ended up happening was, those two Billabong wetsuit videos that I did, they took off. Like, I actually got quite a few views, and Billabong sent me a direct message, I believe it was on Twitter. And the funny thing is, is with the Twitter one, I think I only have like 12 followers because I don't use Twitter at all. Like the only thing that I use Twitter for is basically to put my like video links up and then I just hashtag the rest so that hopefully like maybe somebody will catch it. But anyway, Billabong got a hold of me and was like, hey, we appreciate what you're doing. Here is a coupon code. You're part of the billabong crew and they gave me a special code to put in at checkout which gave me 50 percent off of some merchandise so that's what i did i went over there and this is what i got we're just gonna dive into this real quick it's like a a small little billabong haul i guess and while i'm doing this i'll just talk to you i just thought it was really cool so if you have something that you really like why not just try and like put yourself out there, make a video on whatever it is you like, whether it's like swimsuits or if it's like sunglasses, just do whatever it is that you, you enjoy. Put it out there and maybe that company will see it. I got 12 things right there, 12. So we're gonna dive into it. I wanted to bring up one thing to you all. On my last two vlogs, they were all sort of revolved around my boosted boards. I got a couple of comments where they were saying, oh, you're trying to be like Casey Neistat or this video is like Casey Neistat. That was the idea behind the whole videos was because he was the one that really pushed the whole boosted board idea. This is a cool hat. So I made those videos in the likeness of a Casey vlog because one, I, he's an incredible YouTuber, he's an incredible vlogger, and he really paved the way for so many people on YouTube. I just wanted to give him a little bit of like a head nod, tilt of the hat because of that. This is a beanie. I like it. It'll be good for the winter. Anyway, I thought it would be a really cool idea because, I mean, he's known for the boosted board. Like, when you think of boosted board, you think of Casey Neistat. So, yeah, I'm going to tilt my hat to him. There's so much fun. Here's another Billabong hat. Pipeline Masters Billabong hat. I like this one. At the end of the day, I just want to entertain you. And the edits are made because of how people have a short attention span. And the way that I'm learning how to edit my vlogs is to try to keep your interest, not like this is really gonna keep your interest much, board shorts. They got the nice little YKK zipper. Oh, what am I gonna surf in next? I love board shorts. I could live my life in board shorts. But did you like the vlogs? I mean, I'm trying to come up with more ideas because my whole thing is I want to vlog more. I just gotta catch a lot of inspiration. And I'm inspired by a lot of different things. Like, I'm not just like this one guy that like likes one thing and I do it all the time. I like a lot of different things. I actually just picked up skateboarding. We'll talk about that later. I got on the boosted boards. They're a lot of fun. They're not like skating. They're not like skateboarding whatsoever. I'm gonna start probably doing vlogs around that as well. And I feel like when the surf is down, I can skateboard and I feel as though my surfing will actually become better because of skateboarding. Boosted boarding, long boarding is awesome because I can fly fast like I would be flying down a wave, but with skateboarding, whole bunch of tricks a lot more balance I mean it's tough I thought surfing was hard and I was like yo I'm gonna pick this up easy I got some red ones like some uh, lifeguard I was like dude skateboarding is gonna be easy if I can surf I can skate it's a totally different beast I feel like skateboarding will actually better my surfing skills and abilities than surfing would if I was a skateboarder and transitioning into surfing Man, 
The fabric on these are phenomenal. Working out more, I'm probably going to be documenting a lot of that. I like these too. Actually, that'll go pretty dope with the hat too. All right, didn't even notice. Cool. These are my favorite. These are what I really wanted right here. I love camouflage. I love, absolutely love camouflage. And I bought myself a pair of camo billabong board shorts. These are what I'm gonna wear in the water. I just, I just love camo. There's a lot of other things that I wanna get involved in when it comes to my vlogs. And I haven't been really uploading that much because I sort of like, I lost some inspiration because I feel like, are you gonna be interested in me, like, you know, just documenting stuff? Or like, are you here for like a specific thing? Like, are you here for just like my drone footage? Or are you here for my boosted boards? Or are you here for uh, my surfing or my beach vlogs? Like, if I can combine everything together somehow, and then add on top of that, I feel like maybe I can like, I'm still coming into it. I think I'm like maybe 40 or 30 subscribers shy of only 500 subscribers, which I mean, I still have time. And watching a lot of like, I don't wanna call them like YouTube gurus, but they basically are like the people that are like, how to grow your YouTube channel. Um, I don't take everything they say all the way, but I, they did say one thing where it's like, from zero to 1,000 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers being where you can start to become monetized as long as you have the subscriber count, the view count, a certain amount of watch time. Once you have all of those ducks in a row and I hit 1,000 subscribers, then I can become monetized. But in the time before that, from zero to a thousand subscribers, is your like test time, your time to figure things out, figure how to edit videos. And if you can see from the very beginning of my vlogs, you can see like my very first vlog, which was my Slater Design Surfboard, how long it was, but like how drawn out and probably boring it could have gotten over time to where with my latest vlogs where they're just quick, quick edits, good edits, video quality is better. I just feel like overall you just grow and it takes time in that span. So you're basically learning as you go. I have no idea why I bought this, but I think it was because of the tie dye and I have no tie dye. So I was like, you know what? It looks like a cool beach shirt. Might as well go for it. So I got this one in white and I got this one in black because I like white and black. And then last but not least, this actually, this shirt. All right, so that's it. So there's just a lot of different things that I wanna accomplish with my vlogs. And what I'm trying to say is, is like, I'm close to 500 subscribers right now. And in that time span, I'm learning as I go and I'm seeing what people like. I'm gaining a lot of traction. People seem to really like my electric skateboarding videos. People like my billabong wetsuit reviews. People enjoy like my reviews of certain things or like my how to's, like how to paint surfboards and stuff like that. But overall, I, honestly, I think a lot of people enjoy my drone footage of sharks at the beach. But after a while of doing something like that, here, let me finish this here, but like, I like that and it definitely matches up with these board shorts I'm trying to stay in style that's sweet so at the end of the day what I'm trying to do is figure out my niche or my niche they say like find a niche and stay in it but the thing is is like I get bored very easily with doing just one thing I don't want to have multiple channels this channel here is just a mixture and a playlist of all kind of different varieties of things throughout my life I want to do a lot of traveling show really cool places in Florida where I live I don't know I just want to share as much of my life with you as possible and so that's what I plan on doing. Other than that, um, I'm just going to leave it here and uh, get into something else.